Hi there, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for July. This month is fascinating, really, because Venus, the planet of love and affection, is going to be in your sign for much of it. And this is going to give your star quality, your natural charisma, a huge boost, as will the sun when it turns up on the 22nd. But it's what's going on in the background of your situation, because there are a lot of planetary influences which are not just focused on the sun. But let's begin with Jupiter, the planet of expansion, which has now moved into quite a spiritual and philosophical part of your horoscope. You may find yourself connecting with someone this month who's very, very different to you. Someone who sees life in a way which is completely outside of the normal parameters that perhaps you have experienced before. But this can be very good for you, but they can learn off you as well. But some kind of mentoring or caring or growth, personal development, is possible on the back of Jupiter's link, which goes with Neptune from the 7th through to the end of the month. But at the start of this month, there is a dust-up between the Sun and also Pluto, suggesting that something to do with your working situation could be a little bit out of kilter. For example, if you're working so hard that you don't give yourself any downtime, the stress can mount up and it could reach a point where you really need to stop and reevaluate. On the other hand, perhaps the problem at work is not that you're not prepared to pitch in and work hard, it's that you're dealing with a, a, an acrid environment where people are not necessarily very honest and upfront. There are undercurrents. This could be very undermining to your sense of confidence. And of course, because of your natural need to retain your dignity and pride, you don't find it easy to show your vulnerabilities. And Venus, on one hand, is making you feel great and really alluring, but at another deeper level, you could feel quite insecure about what people really feel about you. However, there's a lot to be cheerful about from the 5th through to the 10th, as Venus forges a wonderful link with Uranus. It suggests that somebody, again, unusual, can take your fancy. Be open-minded about the type of people that you can get along with. It doesn't always have to fit the stereotype of the people that you've known in the past. In fact, someone who's like a breath of fresh air could really see your pulse racing. Now, Saturn, the planet of structure, which is very, very important in terms of um, the way that our lives are organized, but also in terms of time zones in our lives. But this particular time for you is very much to do with where you live, the family, what's going on, your support structures within this. Perhaps somebody's needed quite a lot of your time and energy over the last five and a half months. And that's perhaps drained you out a little bit. I do feel that that can get easier now, or your desire to have more for you, better balance with equilibrium, and the overall setup of your life is going to get stronger. But Mercury does continue to tra trail backwards in a retrograde through to the 20th. And again, this potential for misunderstandings, a sneaky feeling not, ev not everyone's being on the level, could persist. Things will get better, however, once the sun enters your sign on the 22nd, but there is almost immediately a full moon. This could suggest that somebody's coming into your life who can be quite a dramatic influence, but an unsettling one as well. But again, try to be open to it. And it's possible with Mars on the 14th entering your uh, sector of the past, it's also possible that someone that you were once involved with in a working situation or even romantically can start to permeate back into your thinking. They may even turn up in person. Alternatively, if you've got outstanding issues relating to this that you've not really cleared, this would be a great time to go to see a counsellor or talk to a confidant you can really trust to try to understand why this still troubles you. Now, at the very last week of this month, there is a real dust up again. This time it's Mars and Jupiter, which have been side by side, suggesting that as they go in confrontation with Pluto, that again, that issue that's related to your past could be very much to the fore. Perhaps you'll almost be forced to look at something that you've been wanting to sweep under the carpet for far too long. But if you do, however painful it might be, the transformation, once you've dealt with it, can be fantastic and it can be like a huge load is lifted off your shoulders. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Leo. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.